Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasu Cat channel with Gister Cat basic 2D modeling tutorial how to create a simple house plan. First, uh, we can create a new drawings. I will set into G uh, Cat ISO .pwt. We can use uh, this template. Open. The next uh, in here, we can create a rectangle object. Okay, I will give a dimension. For length, we can set into 8100 and for width we can set into 9600 okay we can zoom extend the next i will use explode tools uh, we can uh, explode uh, these uh, objects return objects and i will use uh, copy tools copy this line objects to the top 2100 okay we copy again this line objects uh, to the bottom here 3,900 the next uh, this line objects uh, to the right 3,300 and I will use uh, mirror tools to mirror uh, these uh, objects line objects from this point to the top here okay now in here we can use a uh, trim command uh, we can cut uh, these lines objects and then I will uh, use a break command okay we can break uh, these objects I will break with a uh, force option from this point into here you break again this uh, line objects with a first option from this point into here okay the next we can use uh, join tools to join uh, these uh, all lines objects okay it's already joined and also we can join these uh, two objects and we join these uh, two objects okay now i will use the uh, offset tools uh, we can offset with offset distance 200 you can click uh, these objects and click inside we offset again with offset distance 75 okay you can click in here to this point and then click again into this point the next in here and also to this point okay i will create line star from this point and then you can move into here okay you can use move tools we can move uh, this line objects uh, to the top with uh, distance about uh, 950 Okay, and I will copy this object uh, to the top here, 150. Now I will use a uh, group command. Okay, we can uh, group uh, these objects. Okay, this object will be a group. And now we can use a boundary command. You can click boundary. Use a plan option. Click OK. You can select at uh, this area. Press uh, enter. The next you can delete this uh, group object. You can select and press delete button. So it will be quite a fast uh, wall in uh, this plot plan. The next uh, we can insert the block into this uh, plot plan. You can tap insert and you can get uh, these files in link in a uh, description. Okay, first we can insert basket. Okay, I will uh, put in here for basket. We insert again uh, bed. Okay, I will place at this point. The next, we can use a mirror command to mirror these objects from a middle point to the top. Okay, we insert again the next uh, furniture door. Okay, I will uh, move into this point. And you can use a trim command to cut uh, this line objects. We insert again. Okay, door 2. I will click at this point and use a mirror tool. Select these objects. I uh, will click from this point to drag here and then tap yes. Okay, and now we can move uh, these objects from this point into here. Okay, we can use a mirror command to mirror this uh, door from middle point to the bottom here. And then we can use a trim command to cut this line object. Okay, we can insert again the next uh, door, door 3. One, okay, and then I will part in here. You can use a trim again to cut this line object. Okay. We insert the next uh, furniture. We can insert kitchen. Okay. I will uh, put in here for kitchen. And we insert again for uh, refrigerator. Okay. At this point, the next uh, objects we insert sofa. Okay. I will uh, put in here for sofa. And we can use a rotate tool to rotate this sofa from this point. And I will use a copy tools to copy. 
Okay, the next we can move to this point. Okay, we can insert for table. Okay, in here for table, and the next we insert for waste table. Okay, we can put in here for waste table. We insert again for a window one. Okay, you can click at this point, and then we can use some move tools from this point. Okay, we can move into middle point in here. The next, I will use uh, mirror tools, mirror command to mirror these objects from uh, middle point to the top. Okay, we copy this uh, window into here, and then I will use uh, rotate tools. Next, uh, we can copy again these objects from this point into middle point in here. We set again at this point. Okay, we can select and delete. We insert for the last window. Okay, window 3, open. Okay, and then we can click at this point. The next, we can copy these objects from this point into this point. Okay. Now in here we can create a rectangle object from this point into here and then I will create a line from this point into here and from this point into here. Okay, we also can create in here a rectangle object. Okay, I will create a line from this point and we can copy this line objects to the bottom. The next we can use a mirror command to mirror these objects from a middle point to the top here okay and i will uh, attach hatch into this wall so you can type hatch enter i will use uh, this hatch uh, nc31 uh, okay and now for color i will set it to yellow for scale we can set into 20 and then you can click at the point you can click at this point okay also in here can click a one by one this uh, all wall you can press enter to apply okay click ok again okay, it will be applied into this wall for hatch and next uh, we can apply dimension you can tap b to open a dimension style okay in here we can create new uh, dimension style i will set in here house plan you can active annotative continue okay for primary units Precision we can set into zero, adjust we can uncheck for draw a dim line between x lines. For text uh, we can set it into green. Okay, and for textile I will set into simplex. Okay, we can search for simplex. Apply, set current, and then we can close. The next for symbol arrows I will set into architectural tick. For lines, we can set into red, okay, and also in here, color into red. We can click OK and close. The next, we can use a dim line to create a dimension linear. Click at this point, and then we can move into here. Click to the bottom here. So it will be a look small for dimension, so we can change scale. We can active uh, this uh, all option, okay, this annotation, and you can set for scale, new scale, into 1, 100. It will be uh, bigger. Okay. You also can set into 150. This for 150, or you can set into 100. I will click uh, for uh, dim line to create a dimension linear. Okay, from this point into here. We create again from this point. Okay, I will use uh, mid between two points. Click at this point into here. Okay, and then we can click at this point. The next, we create a dimension from this point into here. You can move uh, this point into this point. The next, uh, I will use a mirror command. Okay, we can mirror this uh, all dimension from middle point to the top. Okay, I will create a dimension linear okay, from this point and then use the mid between two points. In here, we create again a dimension linear from this point with a mid between our two points. Click from this point into here. 
And next, I will use uh, mirror. We mirror this object from middle point to the top. Okay, we can uh, change again point from this point into here, and then from this point into here. Okay. Finally, we can uh, create text, but first we need uh, to change scale into one one, and then we can use m text command. You can type m text in here. We can create kitchen. Click OK. So it will be small for uh, this uh, m text. We also select, can select uh, this uh, text, and we can active for an alternative into yes. Okay. Next, uh, we can change scale in here into 100. Okay, it will be changed. You also can set for color in here. Like uh, we can set into green for color. And we can uh, copy this object uh, from this point. We can uh, inactive for polar. You can click here, auto. Okay, we can active for this auto. And then we can move into here. Okay, and also at this point into here. Next, we can move uh, these objects into this point. Now, you can double click to change uh, this text into alfresco. In here, kitchen and in here, living. Okay, in here, bed 2. And in here, bed 1. Sorry, uh, in here, you can set into bed 2. And in here, bed one. Okay. Now we already create uh, this uh, simple floor plan with uh, this target software. And if you have any question about this uh, tutorial, you can comment below this video.